Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the Medion Okoya E15 303 laptop. As a great companion on your journey through school or uni, the Medion Okoya offers brilliant German engineering that's built to be the ultimate day-to-day -day portable notebook. Straight out of the box, it was really easy to set up with just a touch of a button. It comes with a decent, long AC power adapter for charging on the go, and is a good length plugging in wherever you need it to keep the battery going in use. The entire look is very simple, encased in a metallic housing that feels pretty sturdy while remaining light. The design is incredibly simple here, with just a plain smooth exterior and two branding stamps on the back and below the screen. It's a great universal design that could fit nicely into any environment. The display has a slight bezel around the edge that doesn't take up a lot of the screen and the matte coating really helps a lot with glare when in a bright room. I was surprised at how quiet the keys were, making typing a much better experience as it isn't so distracting. I found it interesting to see that it has an LED backlight on the keyboard considering how low cost this laptop is. It's bright enough to allow me to see the keyboard in a dark room and I can easily toggle it on and off just using the fun button and the spacebar. The touchpad is much larger than your standard size which is great for scrolling and clicking and there's plenty of room for both hands at once. I'm not too fond of the material as it's the same texture as the main body, making it a little rougher than usual and the click is quite loud, but it's got a consistent sensitivity throughout which I'm pleased to see. In terms of connections, there are a few basic ports on the side to assist with connecting external devices. On the right there's an on-off switch for the inbuilt camera, a single USB and a headphone port. On the left there's a small power input, a HDMI, a DisplayPort slash USB-C port and a micro SD reader. Though it's a little limited, it's nice to see the range of connections that open up use with external monitors and external storage that I find comes in handy when creating and presenting university projects. The 15.6 inch 1920x1080 resolution full HD IPS screen had a brilliant brightness range and movies and shows just looked impressive. Colours didn't look washed out at all, with beautifully bright contrast and depth on cinematic movie trailers. Images came out nice and sharp when browsing the web and reading articles, which is what I predominantly use this laptop for. From the sharper viewing angles, I did lose a little bit of the brightness and colour, but I didn't find this too much of a problem as I usually just turned it around to see it directly on. The Akoya E15303 is equipped with an 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD. Even though there's no hard drive built in, the SSD performed much faster faster loading apps and documents in a split second and offering OneDrive storage to maintain that super speed. I didn't download a lot of apps to use besides Microsoft Office as I largely wanted to use the laptop for writing and remote office work, but it was good to see that I could still connect my Xbox Game Pass to download a few games if I wanted to. It comes with an AMD Ryzen 3 4000 series processor, which is great for high productivity workloads because you get a much better performance while retaining that thin, light laptop size. But if this isn't enough for you, Medion does provide a wider range of models with varying display sizes and better processors from the AMD series, so you can certainly find the right laptop to suit your needs. In terms of playing games on this laptop, I didn't find it struggling too much when playing simple games such as Sims and Minecraft, but this laptop does reach the very minimum requirements needed at best, and can affect battery and performance over long periods of time. If you're more looking to play games, I would suggest getting a more powerful laptop with strong graphics and memory for those high performance games as this isn't necessarily built for intense gameplay but rather just general use. Straight out of the box the base Windows operating system is set to S mode as default. Now this just means you benefit from a faster startup with a streamlined menu but you're also limited to apps and downloads available on the Microsoft Store only. It's all included with the best intentions though, creating a tighter security system that saves you from downloading viruses and unofficial apps that can eventually affect your laptop's health, which I find is great for kids and teenagers that need a safe laptop just for schoolwork. S mode can be disabled if you really need to download any unverified Microsoft apps, but for now I kept it as it was as it worked well for what I needed it to do. It's good to see that it comes with an inbuilt webcam and microphone for jumping into online office meetings and keeping in touch with friends and family. As you can see here, the resolution on this camera is brilliant and it does have brightness settings so you can alter to your changing light conditions and the sound is clear enough to be able to hear your voice with little to no distortion. In terms of battery, I let the laptop sit idle for a few hours after a full charge and I still had a good 83% battery and the remaining 5 hours of life left. 
Of course, after consistent use and potential gameplay, the battery life will go down significantly in just a few hours. But honestly, I can see it's mainly designed for light browsing and typing out documents, so the battery life should be sufficient enough for a few good hours of work off the battery alone. So after using this laptop for a few hours, I can say this is a good notebook for performing basic tasks and working remotely. I could work a few hours and not necessarily come across any serious problems that stop my workflow, and I was definitely impressed with the display quality despite it only being standard HD. So what do you think about the Median Akoya E15303 laptop? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.